Right now, it's Sleaze presented by McDonald's. The best part about working at McDonald's is the people. Barnes, who's making a major comeback at the Paris Olympics during the opening ceremonies? I, th- I mean, if it's what I read, is it Celine? Yes, this is her first, actually the very first performance since being diagnosed with stiff person syndrome in December of 2022. That's rare. She's coming back. Have you seen the rumor where she's getting paid two million for one song? That's what caught my eye. Two yeah. mil. I mean, the last time, remember, she played the Olympics was here. Was it in? I yeah, didn't know that. in Atlanta. Good for her. Listen, what an icon she is. And I, I just, I pray for her always and hope that this is going to be an amazing comeback. It's a sad story. Ryan Reynolds all over the place because of, you know, Deadpool and Wolverine movie. But he was on The Tonight Show and, of course, asked about the rumors that Taylor Swift would make a little cameo in the movie. I wish Taylor, you know, if I if I ever stop, she made good Deadpool. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> funny. Are there, but are there are there cameos? Is there are surprises. I would say that the, the folks that do show up in the movie that somehow I have no idea how we've managed to keep it secret, we've given the internet and all this stuff because it's somehow it hasn't come out. Um, I would say that they're more surprises because they have beginnings, middles, and ends. They're not like it's not just like a hey, there's the person and we move on. It's yes. uh, they're 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 there for a reason. I love that people haven't completely ruined the cameos yet, which is I great. Agree. And you think Twisters is going to be big? This is going to be massive. Yeah, I mean, is the theater making a tiny bit of a comeback? Because they were yeah, they sinking. Are. I think so. I really think so. All right, there's a little bit of a controversy here with a, with an actress who's one of the stars of Days of Our Lives. I have not seen the show in a long time. Jessica Servity. She was on social media tearfully accusing her billionaire fiancé, I mean billionaire, of allegations of abuse. And by the way, he is the heir to the Ray-Ban uh, owner, yes. Dude, this is troubling video. She put it out, and then poof, it's gone. It's gone. His name is Leonardo Del Vecchio. I have a little bit of a clip of it, but not the full thing. Here, I mean, this is this is real life. This is the man who has abused me, and let it be known, who has caused my head to have. <sighs> Bleeding. That's like an up close shot of her face, and she turns the camera and shows the dude just standing there. Shockingly, a few days later, she deleted the post. She's posing in a bikini with a statement Leo and I apologize for any who were triggered or affected by yesterday's story. Sometimes a family can have their own arguments, and these should never be made public. This wow. is a classic case. Of abuse. of abuse playing out right in front of you. Do you ever believe when they come back and say, oh, just kidding? She goes, I would never stay with an abusive man in which Leonardo de Vecchio is not. It's almost, and she had to say his full name. It's almost like she was told to do that. I revoke my words that were driven by anger and not in truth. I take back my words on a guy that will always be my companion, stepfather, and family person to me. That is just troubling. Very troubling, especially when they will stay with the abuser for whatever little prize they have to offer. That's not their love and affection. It's usually a dollar amount. You may have seen this over the weekend that uh, Clint Eastwood's longtime girlfriend passed away of a heart attack. She was 61. Um, Clint said Christina was a lovely, caring woman, and I will miss her very much. Christina Sendera dying of a heart attack. That's they were together so for like 10 years. I and know. That's, that's what I talk about in those commercials for virtual imaging is this is why you get scanned because you're able to find out if there's an issue. They can tell you within like a day. You'll go and get scanned. Look on our Morning X page yes. at 99X.com. You can get a free heart scan right now. Just mention you heard about it here. Big news for workers, Barnes. The Biden administration issuing a nationwide ban on the ability of employers to make their workers sign non-competes. Huge. Huge. And it does start September 4th. They're saying about 30 million people or 20% of U.S. workers have signed non-competes. This is a big deal, especially for people in broadcasting. You're not going to see those sit-outs anymore because you could literally walk across the street when your agreement is up 
and go to that payday, it's putting the power back into the employee's hands. Protecting, quote, the fundamental freedom of workers to change jobs, increasing innovation, and fostering new business formation. It's an unbelievable ruling. And even if you have one right now, as of the 4th, it will dissolve. They're saying the only ones not affected are like the top 1%, like C-level people for some whatever technicality. Mm -hmm. But I don't think moving forward, they're allowed to have those agreements. That's crazy. Guess who's taking their secrets to the grave? Not interested in a payday or a book or a tell-all anything. Mick Jagger. He was offered a $26 million book deal. What? Yeah. Mick has drawn the line under ever writing a book about his career and life. There have been so many people that have come to him over the years with deals well over $20 million, and this one was $26 million. Yeah. Snubbing. He walked away from an easy 26 mil payday. Just to talk. Yeah, somebody said he's not interested in reviewing the past. Damn, I would do that. 26 mil. I mean, I would do it for $26. Just give me something. I don't know if you ever saw that show called Being Mick Jagger where they followed him around 24-7. No. What an interesting life. I'd love to find that somewhere. I don't know if it's, you know, even available on streaming. Was that a but reality show? It was Yeah, a- it was really cool. It was when he was with Jerry Hall. It was so good. Anyway, no tell-all books. And Barnes, which celeb do you think is endorsing the salmon sperm facial? It's got to be Kim Kardashian. Think about it. It's got to be a Kardashian. Kardashian. Is it? Of course it is. I thought she preferred those natural, but she's going to go with a brand. Yeah, I guess she was doing some (laughs) promo for the for Hulu. You know, for the series. I got a salmon sperm facial with salmon sperm injected into my face. Leslie just lets him go right by. Uh, it's unbelievable. Now, <laughs> what did you say? What did you say? I didn't hear I you. I said she likes them natural, but she's going to go with a brand. <laughs> okay, it's on delay. That's, I'm sorry. Takes a minute. Jeez, Leslie, at least a courtesy laugh. <gasps> there are people that are endorsing it. <laughs> I bet they are. Some of the most notable benefits of the salmon sperm facial are that it smooths the texture of the skin, according to one expert. It's brilliant marketing, and, and you couldn't get a better pitch person or receiver. Yeah. It just sounds gross, Barnes. Another one, Leslie! I, I mean, know. I can't do anything. But up, up. Jeez. Give me another one liner. No, I'll it's try over. To, I'll try to acknowledge you. It's over. <laughs> We're in the refractory period, Leslie. Let's get out. <sighs> That's your celebrity sleaze.